hello guys in this video i am going to talk about some of the most common reasons for crayfish death now you might have faced this before or you are a new crayfish keeper and you want to be aware beforehand before your crayfish dies so whatever the case is this video will be very helpful for you and before i made it video uh, before i made this video i asked other crayfish keepers in a facebook group and they shared their experiences too so i will just sum up everything i know and i i have found that there are actually four most common reasons for your crayfish death so let's get them over by one by one the first most common reason is unsuccessful molting. Molting is very very important for crayfishes. Um, crustaceans molt in order to grow. Um, if you don't know what molting is, let me explain. Molting is like of we changing our clothes. Okay, but for crustaceans like crayfish, shrimps, for them, when they grow, they change their outer uh, outer shell or outer body cover and outer exoskeleton you can say and grow a new one okay because uh, when they grow the older exoskeleton will not fit with the body size that's why they shed the older exoskeleton and grow a new one this process is called molting now for crayfish this molting process can be very very um, time consuming energy consuming and during this process the crayfish gets very very vulnerable and uh, during um, the molding process for crayfish can take up to about 24 hours um, generally it takes much less than that but it can take up to 24 hours and during this time the crayfish stays very vulnerable and other tank mates can peek on him and can even kill him too what unsuccessful uh, molting, molting failure is um, when your crayfish gets old then it might not have enough strength to molt properly uh, and in that case you can you will see that the crayfish is lying still in one place for two or three days he isn't moving or he flips over he is flipping over he can't he is not uh, walking properly upright you will see these kind of things and this is typically due to molting failure that means your crayfish doesn't have the energy or it is he is too much weak for the molting process to complete this can also happen if the diet is not good typically molting failure occurs for lack of iodine calcium this kind of uh, nutrients so if you are not feeding your crayfish good food then this can happen too for your information, I have a detailed video on how what to feed your crayfish. So if you are not sure, please check that out. It will be very very good for you. The next common reason is not keeping the right water parameters. Now for any aquatic animals, they need to live in their correct environment, right? For us, we, we can't live in a place that is full of dust, carbon dioxide, we will die shortly. That's the same case for any aquatic animal. They live in that water and that water needs to be perfect for them. The environment needs to be right for them. Fortunately, crayfishes are a lot hardy than other aquatic animals and they can handle a bit you know rough water conditions but it is not recommended because in the long term it can affect the crayfish so uh, try to keep your crayfish in, in the right water parameters make sure there is no ammonia nitrate nitrate etc well there will be some nitrate but you will have to do regular water changes to get rid of it if you don't know how this ammonia nitrite nitrate comes in the aquarium um, i will give you some idea about it but you will have to have a good knowledge on tank cycling or nitrogen cycling to understand that so uh, ammonia nitrate this should be as close to as zero as possible then there comes ph ph can be between 6.5 to 7.5 even a little bit or a little lower than that won't be the end of the world it will be okay uh, gh needs to be about 4 to 10 ppm kh can be about 3 to 10 ppm and the tds can be about 100 to 30 uh, 100 to 300 ppm uh, these are the general guidelines of course it can vary exactly from uh, specific species of crayfish to specific uh, species of crayfish 
but uh, I don't want you to um, get uh, worked up on the exact water parameter range if your water parameter range is a bit off that won't be the end of the world but what you need to do is try for consistent water parameters if your tank water pH is 6.5 today and 8.0 tomorrow then this kind of drastical increase or decrease of the water parameter can stress out your crayfish and of course it can lead to his death so you need to be aware of this the next common reason is uncycled tank and now i will talk to you about the ammonia nitrate thing you know for any aquarium the aquarium needs to go through a cycle we call it the nitrogen cycle and it is the single most important basic you will have to know for keeping your fish happy healthy and alive so you'll have to know about the nitrogen cycle i will just give a rough overview of it um, when we keep fish in our aquarium it produces waste right also there are uneaten foods particles in the aquarium all of these decaying organic matters produce ammonia it is a very harmful chemical compound for living creatures and we need something to tackle that ammonia because if there is even a little bit amount of ammonia then your fish can get seriously sick or even die to get rid of that ammonia what we need is a beneficial bacterial colony that's where the filter filter media comes in you will see that inside your filter there should be some kind of filter media like um, bio balls ceramic ring etc these are there for your beneficial bacterial colony to grow this bacterial colony will eat the ammonia inside the tank and they will turn the ammonia into nitrite now nitrite is a far less harmful chemical than ammonia but it is still very harmful for the fishes the, uh, the bacterial colony will also take the nitrite as food and it will then turn it into nitrate um, remember ammonia then nitrite and the last step is nitrate now nitrate is far far less harmful than ammonia and nitrite and uh, nitrate will be there in your tank but you will have to make sure that nitrate doesn't build up too much because too much of nitrate can be detrimental for your fish that's why we do regular uh, weekly water changes in order to keep the nitrate level at a manageable uh, situation so this is how, why we cycle our tank and this is why we change water so if you don't do these things if you keep your crayfish in an uncycled tank or if you don't perform regular water changes then this can kill your crayfish and the last most common reason is unsuitable tank mates you know in most of the cases when we talk about crayfish tank mates we tell that crayfish is the prick all of the time it will hunt or kill other fish in your aquarium that is true but if you're not careful your crayfish can be the food too if you keep your crayfish in a large monster fish aquarium with like arowanas, chiclets, oscars they can easily kill the crayfish or even if the crayfish is with similar sized uh, fishes in the aquarium then they can pick on the crayfish too remember i have told that crayfishes stay most vulnerable when they are molting so at that time if other fishes start to pick on him then that can stress out the crayfish and it can lead to his death so i know this video is on a very gloomy topic but it is very important that you should know these reasons and be aware of them as much as possible I hope you have found the video helpful and if you did please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future videos. Thank you.